Oh, hello there everyone, and welcome to a brand new series of Spooky Coast of the Week. I hope you all had a fantastic um, few weeks so far. Like I said, if you've not checked out um, last week's episode of Coast of the Week, that is now available online for you to watch. But anyway, let's get straight down into the spooky business. So, basically for the next four awesome weeks, we are going to be having four spooky roller coasters reviewed here on Banfi Productions. So... Why did I do another series of Spooky Coast of the Week? Because last year it was very popular, some good coasters were there, and this year it is going to be, it has all been refreshed up because this year it is going to have new titles, there's going to be soundtracks in there, and there also might be a few other strange things going on as well with me in the video as well. So you have to find out what might happen to me in them videos. So that is something that I'm going to be doing in these videos for you near the end or so. so Basically, what are we going to be reviewing this week? We are going to be reviewing a roller coaster called The Blade. Now, this is a very, very short roller coaster. And, plus, this coaster goes a long, long way up on a lift. And then, it then makes its way down a huge drop with fire hoops and even blades at the bottom of it. And it does go quite fast. It's quite a short coaster. It's basically quite fast and... There's something that might happen to it, so make sure you stay tuned after we've been through the statistics and full data in a minute. Right then, here we go. We're going to have a look at the statistics of this roller coaster. Like I said, it's called the Blade. It is a very short coaster, and like I said, something is going to happen to it near towards the end after it's gone past the fire hoops and up the track. So let's have a look at the statistics before we get going. So. £5,340 to build for this ride, capacity is 4 and the duration is 49 seconds so that is not a wrong ride at all but there are some very very fun elements added to it and some very awesome ones and some scary ones as well so you are going to really like this coaster. The fill is 33 out of 100, I don't know why, the nausea is 59 out of 100, I don't know why but we'll find out later on. So the max speed. 88.73 miles per hour. Like I said, 49 seconds long. There's only one drop on this one, a known version, so you know it's going to be quite a short coaster, like I said, I've been talking about in this episode. And yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the coaster rolling. So I hope you enjoy. Wasn't that coaster amazing? It was very, very fast as well. Like I said, it took me quite a few minutes to design a roller coaster that would go really fast and then go off the rails and that and crashing into the distance and that. But that was really, really good. Like I said, like I said, I really enjoyed doing the fire hoops, the blade at the end as well to try and make it more scary. And that, like I said, it is not too scary. I'm not making it scary or anything. This is for fun because Halloween is in a few weeks. Best time of the year. You have your sweets. You go trick or treating, and then some people watch horror movies like I do but you know Halloween is getting very very near and I can't wait so hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Coast of the Week I hope you're going to keep continuing watching the videos that are going to, that are going to be going online uh, hang on a minute why is it going black and white oh god there's something wrong bear, bear, bear with me everyone I'll try and fix this I don't know why it's gone black and white but there's some there must be some sort of ghost in here somewhere I don't know Anyway, like I said, I'll finish this off quickly. I don't know if it's so scary, I don't know what's in here. Like I said, keep watching Bradford Productions and just watch the video. So make sure you follow Facebook, 
I've, I've got to finish this off because this is going to get really scary in a minute. Anyway, thank you very much for watching Bathroom Productions, and I'll try and sort this um, ghost out and video. See you later, everyone. Bye for now.